Hello everyone and welcome back to the BFG. So where is Sophie right now? Whose bedroom is she in? Queen's bedroom. And we've met the Queen's maid and the Queen's maid came in and why did the Queen's maid drop the Queen's breakfast? What was she really shocked about? What did the Queen tell her about that made her shocked? The Queen was telling her about her dream. And why was that so shocking to the maid? The maid showed the Queen the newspaper and the story in the newspaper about the children going missing from school was the same as the Queen's dream. So the maid was just really, really shocked about that. She just didn't know what to make of it because in the dream, obviously it was giants who took those children. And then the maid goes over to the window and who does she find sitting on the windowsill? Sophie. Now, the maid was shocked and screamed, but the queen wasn't shocked. She was actually terrified, frightened instead. Now, why was the queen so frightened when she saw Sophie? Shall we find out? Okay. The maid, a middle-aged woman with a funny cap on the top of her head, was the first to recover. What in the name of heaven do you think you're doing in here? She shouted angrily to Sophie. Sophie looked beseechingly towards the Queen for help. The Queen was still staring at Sophie. Gaping at her would be more accurate. Her mouth was sl slightly open, her eyes were round and wide as two saucers, and the whole of that famous, rather lovely face was filled with disbelief. The Queen was it was filled with disbelief. Now listen here, young lady. How on earth did you get into this room? The maid shouted furiously. I, I don't believe it, the Queen was murmuring. I simply I simply don't believe it. I'll take her out, ma'am, at once, the maid was saying. No, Mary, no, don't do that. The Queen spoke so sharply that the maid was quite taken aback. She turned and stared at the Queen. What on earth had come over her? It looked as though she was in a state of shock. Are you all right, ma'am? The maid was saying. When the Queen spoke again, it was in a strange, strangled sort of whisper. Tell me, Mary. She, she said, tell me quite truthfully, is there really a little girl sitting on my windowsill or, or am I still dreaming? She's sitting there all right, ma'am, as clear as daylight, but heaven only knows how she got there. Your Majesty is certainly not dreaming at this time. That's exactly what I did dream, the Queen cried out. I dreamed that as well. There would be a little girl sitting on my windowsill in her nighty, and she would talk to me. The maid, with her hands clasped across her starched white bosom, was staring at her mistress with a look of absolute disbelief on her face. The situation was getting beyond her. She was lost. She had not been trained to cope with this kind of madness. Are you real? The queen said to Sophie. Y y yes, your majesty, Sophie murmured. What is your name? Sophie, your majesty. And how did you get on my window sill? No, no, don't answer that. Hang on a moment. I dreamt that part of it too. I dreamt that a giant put you there. He did, your majesty, Sophie said. The maid gave a howl of anguish ah! and clasped her hand over her face. Control yourself, Mary, the queen said sharply. Then to Sophie she said, You are not serious about the giant, are you? Oh yes, your majesty, he's out there in the garden. Is he indeed, the queen said. The sheer absurdity of it all was helping her to regain her composure. So he's in the garden, is he? She said, smiling a little. 
he is a good giant so uh, your majesty sophie said you need not be afraid of him i'm delighted to hear that the queen said smiling he's my best friend your majesty how nice the queen said he's a lovely giant your majesty i'm sure he is the queen said but why have you and this giant come to see me i think you have dreamt that part too your majesty sophie said calmly that pulled the queen up short it took the smile right off her face she certainly had dreamed that part she was remembering now how at the end of her dream it had said that a little girl and a big friendly giant would come to show her how to find the nine horrible man-eating giants be careful the queen told herself keep keep very calm because this is surely not very far from the place where madness begins you did dream that didn't you your majesty sophie said the maid was out of it now she just she just stood there goggling yes the queen murmured yes now you come to mention it i did but how do you know what i dreamed oh that's a that's a long story your majesty sophie said would you like me to call the big friendly giant the queen looked at the child the child looked straight back at the queen her face open and quite serious the queen simply didn't know what to make of it was someone pulling her leg she wondered shall i call him for you sophie went on you'll like him very much the queen took a deep breath she was glad no one except her faithful old, old mary was here to see what was going on very well she said you may call your giant no 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 wait wait mary pull yourself together and give me my dressing gown and slippers the maid did as she was told the queen got out of bed and put on a pale pink dressing gown and slippers you may call him now the queen said sophie turned her head towards the garden and called out bfg her majesty the queen would like to see you the queen crossed over to the window and stood beside sophie come down off that ledge she said you're going to fall backwards any moment sophie jumped down into the room and stood beside the queen at the open window mary the maid stood behind them her hands were now planted firmly on her hips and there was a look on her face which seemed to say i was in no part of this fiasco i don't see any giant the queen said please wait sophie said shall i take her away now ma'am the maid said take her downstairs and give her some breakfast the queen said just then there was a rustle rustle in the bushes beside the lake then out he came twenty-four feet tall wearing his black cloak with the grace of a nobleman still carrying his long trumpet in one hand he strode magnificently across the palace lawn towards the window the maid screamed ah the queen gasped <gasps> sophie waved the bfg took his time he was very dignified in his approach when he was close to the window where the three of them were standing he stopped and made a slow graceful bow his head after he had straightened up again was almost exactly level with the watchers at the window here's a picture of our majestic bfg walking out of the bushes towards the queen your majesty he said i is your humble servant he bowed again considering she was meeting a giant for the first time in her life the queen remained astonishingly self-composed we are very pleased to meet you she said down below a gardener was coming across the lawn with a wheelbarrow he caught sight of the bfg's legs over to his left his gaze travelled slowly upwards along the entire height of his body he gripped the handles of his wheelchair of his wheelbarrow he swayed and tottered then he kneeled over to the grass in a dead faint nobody even noticed him oh majesty cried the bfg oh queen oh mon 
Lancaster, oh golden sovereign, oh ruler, oh ruler of straight lines. Oh, Sultana, I, I've come here with my little friend Sophie to give you a... A BFG hesitated, searching for the word. To give me what? The Queen said. Assistance, the BFG said, beaming. The Queen looked puzzled. He sometimes speaks a bit funny, your Majesty, Sophie said. He never went to school. Then we must send him to school, the Queen said. We have some very good schools in this country. I have great secrets to tell your Majesty, the BFG said. I should be delighted to hear them, the Queen said, but not in my dressing gown. Shall we, shall you wish to get dressed, ma'am? The maid said. Have either of you had breakfast? The Queen said. Oh, could we? Sophie cried. Oh, please, I haven't eaten a single thing since yesterday. I was about to have mine, the Queen said, but Mary dropped it. The maid gulped. I imagine we have more food in the palace, the Queen said, speaking to the BFG. Perhaps you and your little friend would care to join me. Will it be repulsant snots cumbers, Magister? the BFG asked. Will it be what? the Queen said. Slinky snots cumbers, the BFG said. What is he talking about? the Queen said. It sounds like a rude word to me. She turned to the maid and said, Mary, ask them to serve breakfast for three in the, uh I think it'd better be the ballroom. That has the highest ceiling. To the BFGs, she said, I'm afraid you will have to go through the door on your hands and knees. I shall send someone to show you the way. The BFG reached up and lifted Sophie out of the window. You and I is leaving her majesty alone to get dressed, he said. No, leave the little girl with me, the Queen said. We'll have to find something for her to put on. She can't have breakfast in her nighty. The BFG turned Sophie, returned Sophie to the bedroom. Can we have sausages, your majesty? Sophie said. And bacon and fried eggs? I think that might be managed, the queen answered, smiling. Just you wait till you taste it, Sophie said to the BFG. No more snots come just from now on. And that's the end of the chapter. And the next chapter is called The Royal Breakfast. Oh, what do you think about how the Queen responded to seeing the giant? Were you surprised with how she reacted? Or did you think, or did you predict that that would be the way she would react when she saw a giant? Because she was very calm. You said she was, but she remains very composed, which means very calm. And and she even, you know, she was she was very welcoming. She said that that um we need to find a school for the BFGs to go to. She's only just met him, and um invited him into the to Buckingham Palace to have breakfast. Um, so well, that's just going to be really interesting. We'll have to find out what happens at breakfast. Um, and at this point, thinking about how the Queen reacted to meeting the big friendly giant, do you think the Queen is going to help get rid of the um, awful man-eating giants? Do you think she's going to believe them, first of all, that, 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 that these other giants exist? And do you think she's going to help? some clues in the way she has reacted to meeting the giant which is very shocking but um, a very wonderful way to respond which you might expect of a queen. <laughs>